In a major discovery, a team, including the Smithsonian, has recovered the first artifacts from a slave ship. The treasure is destined for the National Museum of African American History and Culture under construction in Washington. For Sunday's 60 Minutes, we followed museum director Lonnie Bunch to Africa on his adventure to make history. Mozambique Island in East Africa was a headquarters for the slave trade for 400 years. Museum director Lonnie Bunch showed us where Africans were auctioned and marched to the sea. They were running so many people through here, they needed to ramp this big. Yes. What you probably had was almost an assembly line. You'd bring people, you'd sell people, then you would move them onto the boats and off to the New World. What does a black man see that I can't see? He sees a combination of unbelievable pain, um, a sense of anger, uh, a sense of loss, but also an amazing sense of optimism that the people who shuffled down this ramp, those that were able to survive, built the Americas. The ship Bunch was looking for was discovered in the archives of Cape Town, South Africa. Anthropologist Steve Lupkeman found an old investigation into a Portuguese ship that hit bad luck at the Cape of Good Hope. 200 slaves drowned in the wreck. We have the captain's account, and he signed his name here 220 years ago. Incredible. He said he decided to save the slaves and the people. The people are the crew. The slaves are just cargo. In 2010, the wreck was discovered. One of the divers is Yako Boshoff. So you actually were excavating the sand. That's correct. On the sea bottom. That's this stuff was under the sand. Under the sand. After 300 dives, they found dozens of artifacts, but this may be the most revealing. Covered in marine growth, x-rays show it's a shackle, similar to this, used to bind slaves. So there's a long bar running through, and shackles had, often were on a long bar, uh, the leg shackles especially. So a long iron bar with a round metal ring. Yeah, uh, that sort of thing, yes. Um, uh, and, and in this particular case, leg shackles. The shackles and other artifacts will anchor the slavery exhibit when the Smithsonian Museum opens next fall. You can see more of this fascinating discovery this Sunday on 60 Minutes.